Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, welcome to the channel. I'm sorry that this is the first video that you're seeing on my channel, but I really felt that it was important to me to uh, do a video on this. If you've been following me, you may have noticed last week I wasn't really uploading. I just got super busy with school and kind of needed a break from one part of my life. So I decided to um, take the week off last week and last week was when all of this was happening. So I have notes here because I wanted this to be well thought out because this really is important to me. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you probably do know what I'm talking about from the title of this video. Tarte came out with a Shape Tape foundation a little over a week ago maybe. Almost everyone knows that Tarte Shape Tape is like everyone's holy grail concealer. It is the number one best-selling concealer in the entire world. So when they announced that they were gonna come out with a foundation version of Shape Tape, obviously it was like a huge, huge thing and people were very excited about it. So basically they announced just a few weeks ago they were coming out with this foundation and then like I said a little over a week ago they released the foundation. I'll put the swatches picture here that they posted. They came out with a matte foundation and a hydrating foundation and each had 15 shades and 15 shades is plenty of shades to have a nice gradient from very light skin tones to very dark skin tones. No, you can't get all the undertones in 15 shades, but you can at least provide everyone a decent match. So as you can see by the photos, they came out with about 12 light shades in three medium to deep shades. I would argue that there are only two deep shades. I think that the um, third to darkest one is a medium shade, but obviously that's a problem. Like I shouldn't have to sit here and say that's a problem. It is a problem for white people to be represented fully, like multiple undertones, like kind of excessive if you're asking my opinion, just based on the 15 shades that are present. If it was a 40 shade line, obviously that's not excessive. But in 15 shades, to have 12 of the shades be light to light medium shades, like, like I said, I shouldn't have to sit here and say that's a problem. Obviously this is a problem. To make this a problem even further, Tarte doesn't make any kind of statement to the like blatant outrage from their fans. Fans are asking like, why are there only three, more likely two dark shades? They don't respond to anything. They don't make a statement. They go as far as turning off their comment section and blocking and deleting comments and people that had been posted to their Instagram. So by the time they actually do come out and say something, they talk to Pop Sugar, which is a pretty popular online magazine type of thing, and they tell Pop Sugar that the reason why there are only 15 shades right now is because they're going to come out with 10 more shades. And the reason why they didn't release them in the first place is because uh, something along the lines of people's skin tones I'm cringing already. People's skin tones get darker the closer summer gets. When I first heard about that statement, yes, that is true, but I have never seen a person of color turn white during winter you know? The fact that they're sitting there and so obviously trying to bullshit a response just makes it so much worse. Like, just be upfront about it and apologize first for what happened. Obviously, it shouldn't have happened. Obviously, they should have put more time and effort into making darker shades. But the fact that they come out with people's skin tones get darker in summer. It just makes it so much worse. So basically a few days after that, Tarte did come out with an apology, but they posted it on their Instagram stories. And Instagram stories works the exact same way Snapchat works, where anything you post deletes in 24 hours automatically. Yeah, they apologized, but they did it in the least genuine way possible in my eyes. I don't know. I mean, they 
said something along the lines of they recognize that it was unacceptable and they're gonna work really hard to kind of come back from it and to make sure nothing like that ever happens again. And that's great if it's genuine because there are a lot of people who make these kinds of mistakes and it just it doesn't even have to just like centralize around racism i mean with any social issues a lot of people make the kind of mistake tart made and then they see the wrong in their ways and they genuinely do change and they change and are better than because of that but I don't know, for me, I have to see the change in Tarte in order to really believe it. And I shouldn't have to sit here and say this either, but racism isn't okay. And this launch was, this is racism. Like, this is what it is. Catering to a wide, wide range of white people, but catering to three shades, three. Three shades of people of color is not okay. That's racist. I know that this has been talked about a lot, but this is something that's really important to me personally, which is primarily why I wanted to speak about it, but it's also important to keep talking about it because if you keep talking about it and keep creating conversations about these kinds of things, that's how you get the change that you're after. That's how you get people to see that you know, racism's not okay. That's how you get a change. So for me, that's why I wanted to create this video, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I, I won't be using any of Tarte's products on my channel anymore until I genuinely believe that they do, you know, recognize the error in their ways. There's just so many makeup products out there that I don't want to support a brand that's going to be blatantly racist and then respond the way they did. So I, I'm almost out of my bottle of shape tape, so I'm just not going to repurchase that. And like I said, I won't be using their products on my channel. I may use them on my own time just so that they don't sit there and go to waste, but I won't be like advertising the fact that I am wearing a Tarte product if I choose to wear a Tarte product. I know for some of you, maybe you're thinking, well, it's just makeup, it's not that big of a deal, but it is a big deal because take a second and imagine not being able to try a product that is highly anticipated and that everyone's excited for and everyone's talking about, and you can't try it because they didn't think that your color was important enough to be in their line. That's essentially what it boils down to. I don't ever think anyone should feel that way. I don't ever want anyone to feel that like sorely misrepresented. So yeah, that's why this is important to me. I just wanted to make a short little statement about it. I will have linked below other people in their videos of them talking about it. Uh, Jackie Ina and Jackie, 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 Jackie. Uh, Jackie Ina and Alyssa Ashley had probably the best videos kind of talking about it. I'll also link Raw Beauty Christie's, I'll link James Charles, I'll link anyone I think did a really great job kind of spreading this message and kind of spreading awareness of this not being okay. I also think that this is especially important after the Fenty foundation launch and the Huda Beauty Faux Filter foundation launch. I mean, both of those lines had like, I know Fenty had 40 and I'm pretty sure Huda had upwards of 35. Not to say that all foundation lines need to come out with that many shades. I think that they should, but I do recognize that that is a lot of work and money on a brand's part. But I definitely think, I mean, like I said, with 15 shades, that's plenty enough shades to have a gradient from very fair to very dark. In addition to linking some videos below, I am going to link some foundations of other brands that I think have a really great shade representation as well as a really great formula, obviously. Just check the description box for those. I'm sorry that this video was a little bit of a downer. Like I said, it, it was just important to me to come on here and um, kind of contribute to that conversation of racism's not okay. And it sucks that we have to sit here and say this, but yeah. And also, um, from every single review I've seen, neither one of the Shape Tape formulas, the hydrating one or the matte one, neither one was like life-changing or anything great. So um, I, I won't be trying either one, honestly. Even if they roll out more shades, I probably won't 
go out of my way to try it based on what I've seen. Again, sorry for this downer type of video, but I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.